Hello YouTube, it's me, Jonah, and today's video, how to make the best pig roast, Filipino style. We call it lechon. And the most important thing of the pig roast is seasoning. And here's my secret recipe. And it's been handed to me by my father, William. He's been doing lechon for almost 40 years. And now it's time for me to take over. The first ingredients are onions. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And also comment if you have any questions you'd like to ask. And my second ingredient is lemongrass. And to all my non-Filipino friends, sometimes lemongrass is difficult to find. But Asian grocery stores always have them. And my third ingredient are long stem green onions. I know different cultures have different ingredients for pig roasts. So comment below. I'd be interested to know what ingredients you use to make your lechon. And my fourth ingredient is salt. And living in the city of Windsor, I'm a little biased. <laughs> and the last time I was in the Philippines, I did see Windsor salt. So Windsor does get around. And my fifth ingredient is garlic. And the combination of all these special ingredients give the lechon its unique flavors and aroma. And let's not forget a little extra virgin oil. In combination with a little bit of salt, I'll be rubbing this on the outside skin of the lechon. And so the night before, I do all my chopping and dicing of all my vegetables and I put it inside a bowl. And so for the interest of time, I'll be fast forwarding it so you can see my process. Okay. And the next day, we prepare the meat with the help of my brothers, Larney and Gerald. And I ordered from the butcher about 35 to 40 pounder. And the first thing I do is remove the extra lining. And the reason why I do that is because we want the ingredients to soak right into the meat, giving us those nice flavors. Then a quick wash inside and out. Then I cut slits parallel to the ribs this ensures the ingredients soak right into and giving it that delicious taste. And after we put our steel pole through, we stuff our ingredients. All my ingredients are right here. I cut up last night. Yep. All set. I'm gonna throw in my onions. This is uh, Jonah. He's uh, taking after uh, my dad now. He passed the baton to Jonah, my oldest brother. He definitely knows how to cook now, I'll tell you one thing. <laughs> he's, he's becoming to be uh, oh, a lecture connoisseur. Green onions. 
Yeah. Okay. So right in here, right up, up there. Yeah. It's like stuffing a turkey, eh, buddy? It's almost like stuffing a turkey. Yeah. Stuff, stuff in the, uh, this is lemongrass. This is lemongrass. Nice. Give you a nice sweet smell. Yep. Nice sweet uh, aroma. Lemongrass. Oh, they got all got all the garlics in there. Yeah. Squeeze it all in there. Garlic. A few other things I'll do is I'll put a little slit here. Okay. Why? Okay. And I'll throw some little bit of there. A little bit on here too. Why is that there? So I'm gonna put a little bit of uh, garlic and salt in there also, so it goes into the. Uh, put a nice uh, and then, uh, little garlic in there. Squeeze it in there. Oh, that's a good idea. A little bit of garlic. Put it in through here. Okay, yeah. right in there. And there, I'm gonna put a little bit of salt in there too. No. The summertime. A little bit of salt in there too. Right into there. That, that no, no, it's a uh, European one. Oh, yeah. European, okay. Yeah. Oh, that's why. The one at the plaza. Yeah, Europeans got a lot of good history. That's oh, yeah. why they know all about this. Yes, European makes good pig roast also. So I usually put salt in before I put all the ingredients in, but that's yeah. still okay. <laughs> that's We're going to end up using uh, at least half, yeah. half the salt. There. You know, Dad, he loves his salt, eh? But you know how. Terrible that is, man. It's so no, bad. but you have to you put the food. You have to put yeah. the food in order to put the cook. But that's that's one of the main ingredients: is salt. Yeah, rub it, rub it, rub it in here, right in the stomach, right and the lining. When it turns, when it starts turning, anyways, all the salt are all yeah. all going to get mixed up. So yeah. it's not going to just stay in one spot. It's going to go all over. So yeah, it's going to be good on your DIY, bro. Fucking people going to say, "Wow, oh, now he's doing some lechon." Yeah, let's make it some pig. Now the bees bro. hovering around it. Don't mind it. It actually adds flavor. <laughs> Adds a little honey in there. Yeah, a little honey. Little honey. Honey. Honey flavor. Honey. Over here too. Salt in the right here. Rub it well. Rub it well. You can't show here. that that part. You didn't even say it. <laughs> that's that. So we'll make sure Dad doesn't see that. Hoy, what are you guys doing? Say, oh, you guys slipped up. Should be the first. Yeah. yeah that's so <laughs> old school, man. Oh, he's the one that knows how to do it. He's the one that started this whole thing. Okay. Now at this time, I take my olive oil and some salt, and I rub it around the skin. Now it's time to stitch everything up and close it up. John is finishing off his stitch. So I still got to do the uh, throat here. Oh, I still have to do the throat. So. As you see, Jonah's doing a really good job. He should be a surgeon. <laughs> <laughs> surgeon stitching up uh, the man right there. He's uh, gonna watch out. I almost got burnt, so. Nothing like the barbecue. It's the smell of barbecue is so awesome. There you go, look at that. Oh, good job, everybody. Look at that. See, obviously, Gerald is, uh, knows what he's doing. He's a pyromaniac. Actually, Lynn is. <laughs> Actually, Lynn is a pyro. Lynn's, though, he's got a fire palm. Yeah, he loves fire. He loves fire, he loves his hamburgers. Their <laughs> nickname for him is Hamburger. Hamburger, yeah. <laughs> I put this in here. It goes right through the body and to the other side. This holds the pig from moving around. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Yeah, I'm just finishing this off. Going to finishing off his stitch um, on the throat part. And uh, looks really good. Good, brother. Awesome. Uh, Three and a half, four hours to go, and that thing will be sweet. Yeah. All right. It's time to cook the lechon. This should take approximately about three and a half hours to cook. Now, notice the position of the charcoal. You don't want direct heat and you don't want fires. Nice red embers is best. And using its natural oils and fat, you brush it nice and evenly throughout.
then after about three hours, I take a skewer. If it goes through like butter, you know it's ready. And there's the old man now, checking out the lechon and supervising. And after three and a half hours, the lechon is now ready. Done like a dinner. That's how you do it. Okay, we're wrapping the pig and chip bowl to have the heat. It's, uh, we're wrapping it for the, uh, for the transportation back to the, uh, oh, the matriarch. <laughs> <laughs> what do you got there, Bob? Oh, look at that. That's a painting of dad's uh one of dad's that first car when he first uh, came to canada yeah look at that that's the old country esquire <laughs> station wagon yeah. station wagon it's nice ain't it yeah <laughs> oh that looked good first taste first taste you're dead <laughs> <laughs> and taste approved by the old man the skin so crispy and the meat so tender. Hey, these are the ribs. Oh, the ribs are just so juicy. Oh yes, the flavors go right through. Come on, Steve. Uh, you want some more skin? Yeah. <laughs> it's nice and soft and tender. And 100% approved by the G-Man. Happy 78th birthday, Dad. So if you liked my video and found it interesting, don't forget to give me a thumbs up comment and subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you always get my latest video thanks for watching